Good morning tubers and welcome to Motor Machines. Today I'm literally about to give this WPB 190 Beast its first start. Hopefully it should go all right. The main thing is I haven't been able to get it out because the weather's been crap and I don't want to get it wet yet. I wanted to do this first start and a decent walk around but First, we want to give it its first start. I went over everything. Hopefully it's all ready to go. I've put the fuel in, I've turned the carb on, I've twisted the throttle, I've let it settle for a few minutes. Hopefully fuel's getting through it all. It's literally, well, literally, I'm just about to find out how easy or hard it is to start. I'm a bit concerned because the 170 was a little difficult. It's high compression, but this one's got an electric start. I'll probably try that first, but I doubt it will start. Most bikes don't really start from cold from the electric start, or mine never did. So I'm going to have to um, probably kick it over, <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. I'm not sure you can see, but look, it's all zero. I fitted this um, myself. I always do put these on the bikes. Just, I know they're not 100% accurate, but they give you a, a better idea than estimating, guesstimating, or whatever you want to call it. Let's turn the fuel on. Get to the carb, which is up under here. Lift the choke. Oh yeah, you got this. Right, I'm gonna stand back, set this up on the hand cam, uh, on the tripod and see what happens. What happened there? I think, yeah, I turned it the wrong way.
I can't believe how easy it just started. Hang on, I've got to turn it off quickly. <clears throat> now that's how a bike should start. I can't believe how easy that was. I'm um, very pleased. Oh, my, ni my ears. It's a junior thumper for sure. I'm gonna let it cool down a few minutes and I'm just gonna ride it around the garden for a few minutes, just running it in really. That's it, I'm gonna wrap it up here anyway. That was the first start of a brand new 190 Beast and it couldn't have gone any easier. And putting it together was pretty easy. There was a couple of parts I just had to think about before I could put them on, which was different to my other pit bike. But other than that, it was all good. Next video will probably be a walk around or my first ride depending if I've uh, run it in properly right then once again thanks for watching I appreciate the support and we shall see you in the next one Moto Machines out